Good afternoon my dear students. Hope that you all are fine. Today I am coming with my lecture 10. Here I am going to discuss very important topic that is called application of determinant and matrices. We learn about uh, determinant also about uh, matrices. What are the, the their applications? So the so we are going to discuss about the application of determinant and matrices. Before going to start the application of uh, determinant and matrices, let us know about two particular system. One is called consistent system, another is called inconsistent system. Is a, it is regarding the system of linear equations. A system of equation is said to be consistent if its solution exists. Suppose there are two simultaneous linear equation or three simultaneous linear equations. Okay, so to find the solution, if you get a solution of this system of equation, it if it is only one solution. Suppose x is equal to after after solving uh, suppose a, a, a system of equation in three three variable x y z. If suppose you get x is equal to suppose five y equal to suppose seven. It is and j is equal to suppose 9, then in such case the system of equations have unique solution and one solution you can say. And sometimes what happens a system of equation have more than one solution, maybe it is called infinite number of solution. If both both the solution, a one solution or more solution exist, in such cases the system of equation is called consistent system. It is called consistent. And what is inconsistence? It is automatically if the system of equation have no solution then as no solution then it is automatically called inconsistent that means solution does not exist and we can say that this system of equation is uh, inconsistent. Now we are going to apply the matrices and determinant to find the solution of a system of equation using that is inverse of a matrix. An inverse of metric you must know about determinant as well as the adjoint also. So here determinant is also used and that is called uh, matrices also use. So here I am using this we are, we are going to find the solution of a system of equations. Let us consider let us consider a system of equation of three in three variable x y z. First equation is a1x, uh, A1x plus B1y plus C1z. Okay, you have seen that this this is the system of equation. Okay, uh, first equation is A1x plus B1y plus C1z is equal to D1. Second equation is A2x plus B2y plus C2z is equal to D2. And third equation is uh, a 3x plus b3y plus c3z equal, equal to what d3 okay this system of equation can be written as in the matrix form very important matrix form of the system of equation is ax is equal to b what is a a is the coefficient matrix that means coefficient of x y z x is called the column matrix it is it give the solution of the system of equation and B is the column matrix, the constant uh, in in the right hand side of the equations. Now, uh, how we can write AX is equal to B? You see, if from this system of uh, matrix form, you can you can uh, uh, get this equation also. Suppose C <coughs> from uh, here I am explaining. Here I am explaining. So your equation is AX is equal to B and uh, the uh, coefficient matrix is a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 okay and this is the column matrix x y z is x and this is what d1 column matrix d2 d3 if you use <laughs> the matrix multiplication what you will get what matrix you are getting first row first column a1 into x plus b1 into y plus c1 into z similarly a first row first column complete there is no other column so no need to multiply 
again by first row now starting with the second row a to x plus b to y plus c to z like a to x plus b to y plus c to z same way similarly third row is a 3 x b 3 y plus c 3 z so whenever you multiply matrix we row se multiply kar rahe ho to belu row me put hoga okay first row first column complete then first second row first column we will get this third row first column we will get there is no other column so no need to go right hand side okay so finally you will get d1 d2 d3 now left hand side matrix there is there is only one mm, there is only one equation and one element this is one element this is one element so it is called a matrix of or uh, there is three ro three rows one column this is three rows one column this is three by one this is three by one comparing the corresponding elements you will get a one x plus b one y plus c one z is equal to d one a two x plus b two y plus c two z is equal to d two a three x plus b three y plus c three z is equal to d three that means you are getting this equation so this system of equation can be written in this form and what is a you will get the matrix a by considering the coefficient of x y z in the equation x can be the solution matrix you can say it, you can name as a solution matrix because we are getting the solution x y z from this okay that's why it is called solution matrix and b is d1 d2 d3 so i think you understand how to write this system of equation in matrix form okay now there are there are some cases i'm going to discuss okay case 1 if determinant of a not equal to 0 that is it means what a is non singular matrix agar agar a non singular matrix ho jaye to kya hota hai from the equation we know that if a is non singular means what a inverse exist yes or no we know that so pre multiplying both side by a inverse dono side mein a inverse se multiply kar diya okay now a inverse a is called pre multiplying because left mein multiply kiya that's why it is pre multiplying a inverse a is equal to what i So here is very interesting. This is x is representing solution matrix. To get the solution of the system of linear equations, that means you get the solution x, y, z. You must know a inverse, and in your equation b is given. So our main job is to find a inverse. How to find a inverse? Already we have discussed that to find the inverse of a matrix by the method a inverse is equal to what? 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a okay very nice way if you know this that's why determinant of a not equal to if a is non singular then this system of equation have a solution and this solution x y z you will get one value of x because after getting this is a matrix and there is a matrix if you compare to two matrix hmm, aisa matrix hoga this is x y z and right hand side kuch aisa hoga so you will get x is equal to something y is equal to something z is equal to something that means the value of x is 1 value of y is 1 value of z is 1 means the system of equation have a unique solution the system of equation have a unique solution okay and this method to find the solution of a system of equation is called matrix method it is called what matrix method okay in this case the system of equation system of equation is consistent with 
consistent with unique solution why unique solution because you are getting one value of x one value of y one value of z after comparing the two matrix this method is known known as known as a very important very known as matrix method matrix method it is called matrix method okay this this method is known as what called matrix method so x is equal to what a inverse b x representing the solution matrix and this solution can be you can get this solution by this result okay and if you know a inverse already b is in your given in the system of equation your your main job is to find a inverse by this formula to find a inverse you must find determinant of a and then find adjoint of a after finding a inverse you put the result here and comparing the corresponding matrix you will get the value of x y z and this value of x y z uh, the value of x y z will, will be only only one value of x one value of y one value of z that's why um, the system of equation have only one solution and when a system of equation have a solution then system is called what consistent the system is called consistent and unique solution we already i already explained and the way you find the solution of this system of equation whatever i have mentioned this method is known as matrix method so in your examination question ask like that find the solution of the system of equation by matrix method when matrix method you must use this formula okay you must use this formula okay matrix method may ye formula use hoga and how you get this formula from this equation by multiply pre multiplying both side by a inverse so i hope i will make you understand what is matrix method actually okay in my next video i am going to solve one or two questions related to matrix method hope that you understand uh, thank you very much have a good day